destroyed. Alright guys, today I've got a video here and I'm going to show you, this is on the Droid Razor Max and I'm going to show you guys a bunch of uh, cool stuff here. This is going to be on how to install Jelly Wiz, which is a jelly bean based uh, ROM. So let me just go ahead and show you that once I get rid of all these notifications here. Um, so the, you're going to go into some system requirements. Um, so we're going to go down here to systems and about phone and you're going to want to make sure that you are running the leak um, which is right here it's Android version 4.1.2 this is actually the OTA update that got released by let's see Christmas Eve so go ahead and make sure you're on that version to install this and then you have to be uh, you have to have root uh, root access so let me go into here in my app drawer and show you guys that. You're going to basically have to have two things here. You're going to have to have your super user application right here, which allows giving you root access. So um, if you have that, you're good. And then you want to make sure you have SafeStrap installed. You can have either of these two versions. You can either have 3.07 or the new version, which is 3.11. So as you can see here, I'm going to go into my safe strap application and if it opens up. You can see here I'm on safe strap 3.11 right by my finger there. So if you have those two app things in there, all that's there. Um, basically all we're going to do is go ahead and we're going to power off the phone. Uh, make sure you've already downloaded the ROM. Um, I'm going to give you guys links to everything in my video description down below. So um, let's go ahead and reboot. Saying, hang on here, guys. Sorry. Power off. And we will power up in Safe Strap. Um, so I'll go through those steps also here. Hang on a sec. All right, power back on. When the safe strap splash screen comes up, you're going to want to hit this little button down here, the menu button. And you can see you're in red because you were running your stock system there. If you already have something in there, you should know how to use safe strap. If you already have a custom ROM, you should know how to do this. But just going through it for anybody who doesn't. Um, so now that you're in safe strap, basically uh, what we're going to want to do is first things first make sure you have a stock backup so you go ahead and hit backup and then you just slide your finger across the bottom and it would make a backup I already have that I'm not really worried about it what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here to boot options and I have a ROM in ROM slot 1 so I'm gonna go to ROM slot 2 and I'm gonna pick 1 gig of data and I'm gonna create ROM slot 2 so we're gonna hit create uh, this process is probably going to take about five minutes. I'm going to pause here. This is going to create a ROM slot, and then I'll come back when it's done. All right, guys. Uh, we have finished creating ROM slot 2, which is what is highlighted here in green. So we're going to click on that ROM slot, and we're going to set nickname. And I'm just going to call this uh, Jelly, uh, Jelly Wiz really quick here, just so I know what is in each ROM slot and go and uh, very good so we can go back you can see on top it says ROM slot 2 and Jelly Wiz is now highlighted so if we go back again we can go ahead and get into our install process so install process says to go to wipes and then do a factory reset which will just take a second and then it says do it twice I don't know why but we're just gonna follow orders um, and then it says do a cash wipe, so we'll do that, and then a Delvic, do that, and go back. So now we've done all of our wipes, oh, we're going to also wipe system, and go back. Now because we're on ROM slot 2 here, it won't. this doesn't do anything to your stock ROM, you can always go back to it, it's very, very simple, okay? Um, so we're going to go back to wipes, and we're going to go to installs, and I'm going to look for, I think i got to go up a level, let's see here. Up too many levels. Got to go to SD card, and I got to go to 
if I can find my file. Hang on here. Let's go back. Let's go to installs. Let's go up. Should be under SD card extension. Yeah, there it is. Jelly Wiz. Okay, so right here is the file right here. This is um, Jelly Wiz RLS3 zip. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to make sure it is what is highlighted up here, which it is. And then I'm going to flash it. Again, this process is probably going to take, I don't know, um, probably two minutes. I'm going to say something like that to do this. And then I'm going to flash two other files that are on here, which is um, S Voice and another one for audio. I'll show you those two, and then we'll boot this thing up. So let's just let this thing run, and we'll get back to you when it's done flashing this one. All right, so as you can see, the ROM has uh, finished installing. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually not going to flash those other zips yet. I may go back and do it, but I want to really see what this thing looks like just from flashing just the ROM. So uh, basically all you do here is you go reboot, and it should uh, reboot the system. You're going to see your splash screen of safe strap, which should be green because you're on a safe slot or a ROM slot. And again, you can just let it go past the splash screen or you can hit your uh, search button in the bottom here and it will bypass it. Otherwise, it's just 10 seconds. So I'm going to hit it just to bypass it so it's not there. And let's see if we have a decent boot animation. Uh, while this thing's loading up, I'm going to go ahead and uh, read over some of the specifications on this thing. This is Android 4.0. 1.2 jelly bean um, basically based on the OTA um, ooh ooh that's pretty cool I think that's like the DNA or something boot animation I like it um, this thing's got busy box zip line DO docs slightly debloated ADB insecure official jelly bean touch whiz UX launcher it's got s3 style notification toggles reboot menu S voice add-on, something you can add, which is like I was telling you about. It does have Astro File Manager, which is a root file manager utility built into it. Full themed UI and app, so it basically looks like, um, see here it says, turn your UG Razor on the Jelly Bean Link into a Galaxy Note 2. That's basically some of the features on it. We will go through them after this boots up. This is probably going to take, they said up to 10 minutes to boot. So be really patient with it and just let it do its thing. I'm going to pause here and we'll come back to it when we get it booted up. Well, after about five minutes, I got this screen. Preparing device. Also, just a heads up so you guys know, don't forget, whenever you flash anything, please have at least 80% battery in your phone before you do any flashing. You don't want to flash something and be in the middle have the thing die on you. It would be a really bad situation. So, you got this. I'm going to let this finish, but we're getting there. Ooh, there we go. We're actually there. All right, let's just go through the setup really quick. So we're going to do start. Next. Standalone, agree. It's thinking. It does say here, let the phone sit for five minutes. I'm not really doing that yet, so that's probably part of the reason it's a little bit choppy right now. Um, this thing is looking pretty slick though right now as you guys can see it it looks pretty cool let's uh, take some pull downs so here we go we have um, some toggles up here let's see if they scroll and they do which is very cool uh, I'm gonna clear this out just so we have that stuff out of there and let's go into settings all right here we go totally themed like I said um, pretty sweet you go to about phone really quick and you can see it is the Android version uh, 4.1.2 and it is for the XT 912 Motorola, Motorola Droid Razor Max is what this is here so that's nice um, yeah it looks looks pretty slick uh, I like the theming of all these icons through here is pretty nice um, let's check out our home launcher ooh transition yeah that's that's cool I like it Transition's pretty neat. Um, let's see what else we got here. Does this thing fully flip? It does. It cycles all the way through the horn. Here's S Suggest, uh, so you got some stuff there. Um, your AccuWeather, your Play Store, settings. I don't know what this application is. Flipboard. You got Flipboard up here. Let's go through our app drawer. 
So as you can see, we have uh, Astro File Manager, your browser, standard Chrome, Flipboard, Gallery, um, navigation, no frill CPU. That's pretty sweet for uh, setting your CPU speed. So we're going to go ahead and allow super user permission. Um, so here you go. You can change your min max clocks, um, clock frequencies. That's interesting. Why would max clock frequency be set to the bottom? That is a little funky. I'm going to set it up like it's supposed to be. Um, governors, IO schedulers, all that good stuff. So let's hit apply. All right, and exit. And then paper artist, you got that. Let's see, S suggests right here. Um, smart actions, if you like it, that is a Motorola thing, I think, which is surprising. He must have left it in here. Uh, voice record, your super user app application, YouTube. Uh, and there you go, video player. Like I said, this is all fully themed for. Um, touch Wiz, which is cool. Let's go see what you got for toggles. Or, I'm sorry, for widgets. AccuWeather, Astro, Bookmarks, um, Drive widget there. No Frills widget. Okay, yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty standard, pretty standard stuff uh, for widget-wise applications. We'll go back out. So there you go, guys. That is pretty much your uh, Touch Wiz. This would be Jelly Jelly Wiz uh, on the Jelly Bean OTA update, which is pretty, pretty sweet. I like it. Pretty cool. Um, so if you guys like this video, please uh, give me a thumbs up. Also, uh, please subscribe. I got a link down below here. And uh, click that. Also, please, guys, check out my new uh, website. Boom, right here. Um, and it's going to be, just got it going. It's a... Uh, rootjunkie.com so check that out I would appreciate it um, and also hopefully this video is a little better for you guys uh, got a new camera on it and hopefully a little better clarity so thanks for watching and we will catch you guys next time